me from, like, who got me doing the whole little scene thing, believe it or not, was Evelyn Champagne. Y'all probably don't know who that is, but we made that. Made my love go down. Ooh, you made my... Yeah, that's who got me singing for real. And who else? It was... It was also Lil Wayne with the whole little punchline thing. Yeah. So that inspiration came from him. You was just freestyling. Can we get a freestyle? We were singing. Can we get a freestyle? Y'all cut, cut on the beat. Y'all cut on the beat. Can we get a freestyle? Plug. Hold up. Plug. Plug. Shout out school. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out school. Shout out school. What'd they say? Okay. Oh. I walk on your block in Mason. I kill a nigga like Jason. You know I'm being all the cases. Uh, these pussy niggas, they be faking. I heat a nigga just like bacon. I leave his mother ass aching. Uh, his whole block shaking. Uh, uh, I really think that Zan crazy. I'ma find cuz on the navigation. We gon' shoot him, never hesitation. We might put a plug on a cancer patient. Do a drive by in the Harley Davidson. Call him my shooter like Ronald Reagan. Running this home, I don't have to break in. Scrub with that pilot, we cookin' bacon. Chop a sound like arena racing. We got sticks like we illustrating. We below me that I wasn't Asian. So that's when I started using the whole like Goofy tactics like I said, I got the dog in my hand, not talking about this. Mm -hmm. I really wasn't talking about the dog. Like, I don't gotta prove myself to nobody. Niggas know if you think I'm trapped down. See, you know, I try to. I never, but I used to call the way to prove people, prove to people, like, yeah, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. And, like, start trouble. But now, that's not it. Shit, I hate cussing. Jail's not the place. Niggas can, can only get real food on Fridays. Real food on Fridays. And commissary, you can get like Doritos, so you can't get no real shit, but... They made big grill, you hamburger, it's going to grill for Fridays, you got to get like $14, $15. God damn, bro. I know, Fridays. my man's was in jail. For real, for real. And he was talking about, I did like send him money, I was sending money through commissary, he was talking about like, yeah, that's where you get your real clothes, you ain't have real clothes. No blankets, no nothing. Is that true? Huh? Is that true? Like, my man, I was sitting my man's and like fucking commissary. He was like, "Yeah, you don't get shit. Like, that's where you get all your shit from. You got this like this little place you, you go to. You can get hygiene. You can get up to forty items. I mean, but that ain't shit when it's a dollar a noodle, and you can only spend seventy five dollars. You get it's a dollar and they tax it. So, really, yeah. so they tax it, and that's crazy. He taps the endless food. The bed is a little bit bigger than that. All metal. No toilet. <laughs> no toilet. Toilet, you get two flushes an hour. That's you in there, you smell it, you ain't shit. I mean, yeah. Damn, so I got to strategize. Hey, make sure. I had to show him that's what one point in time where you can do what you do. Then the phone calls. Three dollars twenty cent. Yeah, I'm about to send an LG pep. Oh, I just make sure you send it to the wrong person. So that's all. All right, send me your thing again. Uh, send it to me because I got one percent. My phone better die. Uh, let me send it to you. All right, one hundred. No, no, but um, <laughs> for real, it was like jail dumb, bro. Three dollars and twenty cent for a twenty minute phone call. I burnt that joint up, told it. Girl, I was glad I reached my limit. Two, you only get two hundred fifty dollars a month on the phone. So yeah. So Joe was definitely like an eye opener to you, basically. Hell yeah, that's why I'm like, and then you gotta be like, huh? There's no, cause you see how hum how humble I am around y'all. You can't be like that, Joe. You gotta be high headed. You gotta be. Like, a nigga looking at you for a certain amount of seconds. You, what's up? You feel me? Like, it's not, it's not sweet how, yeah. But that's good in it, but you just gotta watch your back every time you do it. Every time you pick up, look at my your back while you eat it. Shit, like, trays like this big. You eat when they tell you to eat. Go to sleep when they tell you. You feel me? Change the place. So it definitely makes you more of a man now, like, 
move coming out now, like how do you feel like coming out? Shit. I'm more mature in my mindset. I went to jail for it's like wasn't worth it. I mean I didn't get no time. I got probation, but mm -hmm. shit. Still why that? Because the next time I get in trouble it can be as little as a traffic ticket. Judge told me giving me all of my backup time. That's four years mandatory. So regardless of what he give me I gotta do four years straight first before you reconsider my sentence. Oh. So yeah. So now you just do music, just staying out the way. Yeah, that's all you can do, yeah. bro. I heard you've been writing hella. Like, don't you have a journal or something? You was writing in with yeah. DJ? It's like, uh, <clears throat> I got a whole lot of jumps through though. Like, like, since you ain't even dropped yet. What? That's the thing, and I haven't written anything now. But we see that um, we be watching it, like on the gram. We be saying you like the like, oh yeah, you yeah. like that just post snippets. You don't like to really post it yet, right? And I don't even like to do the whole writing thing. I just write down post lines for real. The whole pink jump, that's that was freestyle. I don't even know how I thought of the color series. I was like, see, I got on pink right now. Let me just make it. They thought it's going, this shit's going to be dumb. Because it's my man who make the little goodies and shit. Yeah. So, yeah, shout out Selfish. But it's my man who make the hoodies. And I had on, that's when I first got my fist because niggas ain't had shit. I just been starting getting paid off of my music. Like, <sighs> before I got locked up. So maybe around July, August ish. So I just started getting paid off. We both were in too far to walk. How'd you get in the with world and all that? Nah, I went to school with them niggas. Too far to walk niggas. Yeah, I didn't even know who it was. So I did a photo shoot with him the other day. And I saw, I see you be wearing that plug love with Eli and the little nigga. The like, how you know him? What's that relation to and stuff like that? I don't. You just fuck the music behind it? Yeah, because plug love, plug music. See, I might make go to the strip club for a plug love in a few years down the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I thought it was like it was like together, but like PD told me it was something yeah, completely was different. It was, it, it was that's how it's supposed to be. But you know me got a lot of popping clothing lines out here from the little eat to mm -hmm. too far to walk to silencio to you know, we got a lot of jumps out here. Saints. 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 Saints is hard. I mean, I ain't gonna speak on it. But yeah, bro, gave me some drip the other day. Bro, cool. You know what I mean? Bro, cool. And Motor Boys and shit, too. Yeah, Motor Boys and shit, too. It's sneaky. It's Fat Dave. It's Fat Dave, yeah. He, he crank. I just, my man just put me on to him like the other day for real, for real. We was just playing him on the way here. That freestyle shit he got. Yeah, he cranked up. Oh, yeah, stunning on his own, too. What's up? It's Rambo once over here. It's moving out with my man. Man, you see, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, man, what?